Hi there, I'm Pete Cook, uh, the motorcycle lecturer from Hull College, and I'd like to tell you something about the story of this MT10. MT10s have a few inherent problems, which cause them to run very erratically, popping and banging in the exhaust, lots of flat spots, and the engine runs red hot. Well, I'm going to tell you how to sort that out. The first problem is only in some engines. And it's a thin sort of a steel ring that sits behind the clutch centre. Some of them are too thick, so the clutch is actually solid. The rear wheel drives that solid clutch, generates huge amounts of heat, and feeds it straight into the crankshaft. Sometimes that can cause a big end to go. The other problem that causes it to run hot is the air rebleeding re -ble -re system which puts air from the airbox straight into the exhaust. Now this is a really bad idea because it confuses the heck out of the ECU and the bike doesn't know whether it's running rich or weak. So you put oxygen in here, the sensor, the lambda sensor, says hang on a minute, the mixture's wrong and tries to over-richen it. Of course then it's not, so then it tries to weaken it again. So it's a feedback loop which confuses the bike no end. So what we've done here at the college, we've completely rebuilt this engine and blueprinted it so it's built exactly to the manufacturer's specifications. We've checked that it doesn't have one of the faulty clutches, which is absolutely fine. And we've changed all the air rebreathing system and taken out the catalytic converter. Now when you do that, the bike starts to run properly, absolutely beautifully. All the flat spots gone, it warms up properly, speeds up the tick over and then allows it to settle nicely to a regular tick over but most importantly in a very very sharp and responsive throttle. So this MT10 which has done only about 4,000 miles is now a really well sorted motorcycle and if somebody wants an MT10 you've got to do all these things to it to get them absolutely bang on. Now it's done it sounds absolutely sweet as a nut. So if you think you'd like to work on bikes like that, maybe you should consider working at or coming to Old College, where we do real engineering on real machines and we learn to solve real problems. Bye now.